guys welcome to my 2020 recipe roundup so what I did was I actually chose some categories like most made by viewers most underrated and at the end I'm gonna show you my favorite and I did that menu style so I'm gonna show you my favorite starter main and dessert of my 2020 recipes I really hope that this video gives you some good meal ideas all the recipes of course are gonna be linked below I want to thank Thrive Market for partnering with me on this video because I do so much recipe testing which means I go through a lot of groceries certainly more than the average Joe and that is because I really want to make sure that my recipes are replicable and something that if you're gonna spend your time and money making my recipes I want to know that I have tested it that I've tried it and that I think it's delicious and hopefully that will make it easy and delicious for you to make at home as well so I do really stock up on a lot of items especially commonly used you know spices and cooking oils and pantry essentials beans grains oats that kind of thing and that is why it's so great for me to be able to shop on Thrive Market because they make it so much more affordable and convenient for me to load up on my favorite items without having to run to the store every single time. It just gets shipped to my house in recyclable packaging. I will put a link for you to check out Thrive Market in the description box below. But for now, let's get started with the most viewer made recipe of 2020, and that is drum roll, please my best ever chocolate chip pumpkin muffins. I cannot believe how many of you guys made this recipe and I got such great feedback on it and I was so excited that you enjoyed it because I really tested this recipe. The number one feedback that I got on this recipe is that the texture is on point and that makes me so happy because that was really what I was focusing on and trying to make sure that all the ratios are right to have that perfect fluffy muffiny texture and a strong delicious pumpkin spice flavor. The golden tahini sauce that I made was so good. I got really great feedback on it, but I do think that it kind of slid under the radar because it was just in one what I eat in a day video and that can be easy to miss. This dressing gets its golden color from the spices. So it is spiced with curry and turmeric and garlic. It's really creamy because of the tahini and it has some nice balance and tang from the vinegar. It also has a secret ingredient that might surprise you and that's just a tiny little bit of ketchup which gives this a little bit of a savory umami background flavor as well as a touch of sweetness to complement the savory spices. And then the other side of the spectrum would be something sweet and that is honestly my zucchini bread. I know you guys love my pumpkin muffins, my pumpkin bread, and my Earl Grey loaf that I did this year was also really popular and made quite a bit by you guys which makes me so happy. But this one I feel like didn't get as much airtime as I personally think it deserved because it was so good. I love the cinnamony flavor but it's not too intense so it's really good for kind of all year long baked goods. It's not necessarily something that you only would have in the fall or during the holidays it's something that you could definitely have all year round and it's just like a homey cozy baked good and if you're worried about the zucchini you do not taste it and I know everyone says that but you know how with banana bread it definitely tastes like bananas the zucchini bread tastes like cinnamon and vanilla and like a little buttery and that kind of thing so it really doesn't taste like zucchini my mom also really liked this recipe and what she and I both like to do is basically to slice a loaf like this whether it's the pumpkin loaf or the zucchini loaf or Earl Grey slice Place it in a nice thick you know single serve portions and then you can freeze it and then you can just kind of reheat one slice at a time as as you want it and enjoy a treat that is homemade and like a freshly baked baked good but just for one best comfort food is definitely my potato pumpkin and mushroom stew with the rosemary biscuits so it's a one pot stew with these flaky vegan salted rosemary black pepper biscuits that are so so good and they cook right on top it is so comforting and it's the kind of thing that i just think is perfect for the chillier weather or like a hearty when you just want something hearty and cozy the recipe that I got the best feedback on was actually a recent one and this was my buffalo cauliflower wings. Now I have to tell you I was really reluctant to make this recipe because there are so many buffalo cauliflower wing recipes out there and I kind of thought why is anyone going to really be interested in mine but I knew from making other recipes and from experimenting with this exact recipe over and over that there is one thing that I was doing differently that I think kind of sets this particular recipe apart from the others it's all about that breading and that coating there are times where I've tried other buffalo cauliflower recipes and the flavor is good but the texture of the coating isn't quite right unless you deep fry it or something and it's 
it's almost as if the batter kind of dries onto the cauliflower and doesn't really have that satisfying crunch and like that exterior that is so good to dip into vegan ranch. And so the way that I created that was with a little bit of chickpea flour. You can find it at your regular grocery store. I got it on Thrive Market. And because it has a little bit of protein in it, because it's just ground up chickpeas, it actually does a little bit of what an egg batter does when you use an egg wash and then bread it. That and the panko breadcrumbs. Panko is just so crispy crunchy and the combination of the chickpea flour batter with the panko I think really sets this apart. Some of you thought that the ranch was a little bit too thin and that's because different kinds of vegan mayo are going to have different consistencies and some are thicker than others. So if you want it to be thicker you can either decrease the almond milk a little bit or you can increase the mayo a little bit and by a little bit I mean about a tablespoon at a time. So decrease the liquid or increase the mayo to your perfect ratio and then kind of taste and adjust the salt and pepper as you need. So it's really flexible. It's a very forgiving recipe. You can kind of play around with it, but I got really good feedback on the flavor and the texture and you guys loved the combo of the buffalo cauliflower and the vegan ranch dressing. My best family style recipe was definitely my mini meatloaf muffins. One of the reasons I love these meatloaf muffins is because they're a really great source of whole food plant-based protein. There's nothing artificial or processed going on. They're made with lentils, nuts, and mushrooms, and I add lots of richness and flavor with a base of some onions, garlic, and carrots. This is all going to be really finely chopped, so it's not gonna taste vegetable-y, but it gives it this kind of first layer of flavor. Then I add in my spices and my ground nuts and the lentils, and the spices and the the secret ingredients that I add, if you will, like mustard, ketchup, and Worcestershire really give it this savory, meaty umaminess without having to add any animal products at all or even any processed vegan products. Not that I dislike, you know, vegan meats or anything, but sometimes I just like to eat something that is a little more simple and whole food, but I still want that meaty richness and those flavors that I grew up loving. And so this is classic meatloaf at its finest, but all vegan and really wholesome, really nourishing, really filling, and really cute when you put some mashed potatoes on top as well. I think your family will love it. Okay, so best meal prep item is definitely a tie. The first one is more on the cozy comfort food end of the spectrum, and it is my tater tot hot dish recipe. This is a veggie and mushroom casserole that has a nice creamy sauce with some rosemary and sage, and then it has tater tots on top, and it kind of bakes all together, almost like a crispy, crunchy shepherd's pie, and it is so good, and it reheats really well. So I love making a big pan of this and then just eating that throughout the week for lunch or dinner, maybe put a little salad on the side, and it is just such a cozy, easy meal. Another meal prep item that you can have for breakfast, lunch, or dinner is my stovetop frittata. This is something that is high protein, really delicious, and you can serve it the same way that you would have an egg dish or an omelet or frittata, like you could do crispy potatoes with it or hash browns or serve it with some avocado toast. It also is really great to make egg sandwiches, vegan egg sandwiches, because it's flat, so you can kind of slice it and it fits on the bread without kind of falling apart the way that if you were to make a tofu scramble type of sandwich, it kind of falls apart because the tofu is scrambled and crumbled. This holds together really nicely, reheats really nicely, and is a really great source of plant-based vegan protein. So for an appetizer, I would definitely have my tomato, stone fruit, and basil salad. This was just summer in a bowl. So beautiful. It really felt fancy, even though it was very, very simple. So I love the flavor combinations and I love how easy it was to make. So I definitely would start with that. And for my main, I would make my mushroom tortellini. This was so good. You guys, it has a white wine garlic butter sauce with mushrooms, the Kite Hill ricotta tortellini, and then it has fresh dill, capers, and some vegan sour cream on top. And it is just so, so good. And finally for dessert, I think my absolute favorite this year was those chocolate peanut butter cups I made around Halloween. They're PB and J peanut butter cup. So they have a little bit of peanut butter, a little bit of raspberry or strawberry jelly, and then the chocolate on the outside with a little sea salt on top to make all the flavors pop. You guys, I loved those. I made so many from recipe testing and I definitely had lots of leftovers that I enjoyed with all of the Halloween movies this year and it was heaven. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe roundup of 2020. I would love to hear your feedback if you made any of these recipes or if there's something that I missed, one that you really enjoyed or something that you want to see in 2021. Please let me know in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Hit the bell so you never miss an upcoming video. Check out my Instagram if you have not started following me there. I love to post there almost every single day. I try anyway. And check out the link in the description box below to try Thrive Market. As you know, I am such a big fan and they have really made all this recipe testing and recipe developing a lot more affordable and convenient for me this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye! Bye.